Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up RPCS3 on your Windows system. So, RPCS3 is a PlayStation 3 emulator that allows you to play PS3 games. So, this is for Windows. I'll have a separate video covering this for Linux. This is using the latest version as of February 2021. There's been a lot of updates since the last time I created a setup video. A lot more games are compatible. The performance of the games is a lot better and you get a lot more features in terms of the rendering as well. So I want to say this video does not condone piracy. I own a PS3, free for that matter. I have the game that I'll be trying which is Minecraft. So I'm going to show you where to get some games. I am not condoning piracy. This is for educational purposes. So first of all, you need to download RPCS3. So Google this or just follow the link in the description. Either one is fine. Go to download and in here, click download for Windows. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel that. You need 7-zip as well. And that allows you to extract this. So go to here, just go to the top section, not the alpha, this one will be fine. And select either one of the two. 32-bit will work on 32-bit and 64-bit OSs, 64-bit will only work on 64-bit OSs. To find out, if you go to your computer, system properties, and this will work for OSs like Windows 7 as well. It says 64-bit, so I can use either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. If it says 32-bit, you can only use 32-bit. So let's say if we click that, and again, I'm gonna cancel it for 7-zip, just open it, install it. The process is simple, and actually, you know what? I'll show you it because the process is super easy and simple. Next, what we need to do is get hold of the PS3 firmware. So if you Google that, again, I will provide a link in the description. Go down, click download PS3 update. For some reason, it just doesn't download it for me. If you have these issues, then right click, save link as, and just click save. I've already got it downloaded, so I don't need to. And next. This is optional. Again, not condoning piracy. This is where I get my games from. But again, this is games that I physically already own. PlayStation 3. I'm going to use Minecraft because it's a quick download. And because I'm recording, shouldn't really hinder the performance much. So click that. Again, I'm going to cancel it. So now let's go over to my downloads folder. And first of all, let's install 7-zip. So open that. Click install, shouldn't take long, there we go. Next, what we wanna do is extract RPCS3 and go to extract two. Again, shouldn't be long depending on your speed of your computer. Right click your game if you have a, downloaded the game, do the same thing. And now, open up RPCS3.exe. I have read the quick start guide. Continue, and now what you want to do is go to configuration. This is optional, but go to pads, and now you can configure your pad. So here, you just select keyboard or DualShock 3 for a PS3 controller, DualShock 4 for a PS4 controller, DualShock, I mean DualSense for a PS5 controller, X input for Xbox, and some other devices like joysticks and my support mm joystick if i do keyboard let's say if i click there and let's say if i press the p button it registers it as p i'm going to read it, put it back as up and that is it so that is how you just map your controls i'll have separate videos covering how to map different controllers up so feel free to check that out make sure you click save and you can also add a new profile as well so you can have different profiles for different games potentially or different devices click save and now let's go to doo -doo -doo -doo, what is it? add game before we do that sorry you gotta go to file install firmware go to where you downloaded the game to or wherever you have the game not the game sorry the firmware click that and it will install the firmware then I think it's going to do the PPU modules after this. And just wait patiently for this to complete. Shouldn't be longer than a, a minute or two. After this, it will run another window with the SPU or PPU. Oh, yep, PPU modules.
So again, just gotta wait patiently for this to complete and then we'll be able to launch up the game. So if you go to the RPCS3, let me open up a new window, RPCS3 website and go to compatibility, you can see the compatibility of you know, games. So a lot of them are playable now, the playability is you know, get it a lot better compared to what it used to be. So let me see what Killzone is like. I remember when I tried it a long time ago, Killzone was a bit weak. So they got Killzone, Killzone 3. You don't seem to have Killzone. Oh, there's Killzone 2. So you get to in-game. So it's not, doesn't mean, so it's potentially has bugs. Now Uncharted is meant to be working very well now. Apparently the first Uncharted works better if you have a good enough system on a computer, better than it did on the original PS3, which is pretty crazy to be fair. Okay, so feel free to check the compatibility list. This has completed. Now to open up a game, so like go to add games, go to Minecraft, click select folder. There we go, you could have multiple games there and it'll just show all your games. Now if you double click the game, it'll just launch it up. And it's just compiling PPU modules. These are specific to the game itself. So every game will do this on the first boot. So again, this is just something you have to be patient for. about 10% of the way there, a little bit past 10%, nearing 15% now. I'm trying to calculate it and the percentage is right there, that would be silly. So yeah, feel free to replay, you know, or some of the classics. If it feels strange calling PS3 classics, but you know, PS3, it was 06, 07. 07 in the UK, 23rd of March, 2007 to be exact. And I can't remember the exact date, but it was, I'll say 11, or the 9th of November in the US and Japan, I think it was maybe a slightly different day. I remember coming home from school, PS3 was out, and I was so excited to play that. Then I had a detention at school, so I was late to PE. I was late because I was talking to my friend about how I'm excited to finish school, get home, play the PS3, and as a result, I was late. As a result of that, I got detention and I got late home play to play the PS3. But when I did go, oh, it was good. So I had Resistance Fall of Man, the original MotorStorm. You know, I feel like I have three games. For some reason, I can't remember the third game. If I did have three games, I cannot remember, but I feel like I had three. I didn't have, was it Genji Days of the Blade? Didn't have that one. Borrowed that for a friend, didn't have it. Trying to think of what else. But yeah, Resistance, I remember playing that. I was like, that jump from f two to three was insane. One to two, two to three, those console jumps was insane. And not just in graphics, but in the way the games felt, the controller. Okay, so we're almost done now, and the game will launch. It's taking a little longer because I am recording, obviously the screen at the same time, that you know requires some processing, and you can click square, uh, you can just double click the screen and make it full screen. So let me skip some of this. Obviously feel free to use the controls that you would have mapped. Create new world. And as you can see, Minecraft is working, which is pretty insane. You're playing a cell architecture game, because that is a really hard CPU to emulate on a x86 architecture computer which pretty mind-blowing that is right there can't wait for ps4 to get emulated there is the can't remember what the project is called there's a bunch of fakes out there like rpcs4 or pcsx4 they're all fakes but i can't remember what the official one's called currently that is legit but there's not much progress with it at the moment but as soon as there is i will create some videos so I can move, I can jump. I can't remember what was the back button. That was my fault, but as you can see, we have it working. I'm gonna shut it down 
and that is it that is how you set up rpcs3 on your computer if you have any questions for some reason it's just crashed right there obviously if you just open it up again if it does crash and but if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video